Joining us first on CNBC today, HP CEO Antonio Neri is back with us. Antonio, it's great to have you. Um, what a period we're in regarding uh, software and enterprise demand and spend. Uh, we've talked a few weeks ago. I wonder if we're tracking now above your expectations even recently. Well, good morning, Carl. Thanks for having me. I'm here in Barcelona hosting our European customer event, HP Discover. And it's so fun to be out talking to customers and partners because it actually helps you inform to the question you just asked me. And the vibe and the enthusiasm about this new set of technologies, obviously driven by AI, is growing incredibly. And so to give you a perspective, you know, today I had my keynote, it obviously was all about AI, and the interest is much higher than I ever anticipated. And if you look at our results, Carl, uh, we announced an impressive fiscal year 2023. We grew revenue faster than we anticipated for the full year. We delivered gross margins that were above what we expected. And most importantly, we achieved record-breaking performance for our shareholders in terms of non-GAAP, dilute and energy per share of free cash flow. But what we see now is an enormous pipeline associated with AI. In fact, in my uh, early remarks during the earnings, I said AI is exploding. We see customers building models, and in 2024, we see enterprises deploying the models. So it's an enormous opportunity. We're excited to participate in this massive inflection point. What about the old saw that um, the mad rush for AI is going to start crowding out other types of cloud spend? No, in fact, I will say the following. You know, when you think about the work we are doing with HP GreenLake, which is a hybrid cloud platform, and by the way, now we have 29,000 customers on that platform. We are bringing two type of worlds. We are bringing the cloud native world and the AI native world, and the two have to coexist. And that's one of the things that really customers are appreciated about our HP GreenLake -like platform. So they can continue to do what they need to do in a cloud native environment, where it's traditional workloads to manage the data, to deliver business outcomes out of that data, and at the same time, they can start adopting these new AI technologies that require a completely different architecture. So we don't see yet a cannibalization of that at all. In fact, we see incremental spend. But obviously, when you think about the core business that we have been experiencing for the last uh, two years, there is still some digestion taking place. But customers need to continue to modernize and cloudify while at the same time deploying AI to deliver business outcomes. Can you quantify it, Antonio? How much, how, how much of the server orders were related to AI platforms, and where does that number go? Well, good morning, Sarah. Good morning. Uh, in my commentary uh, in, the, in the earnings, here is the telling story, right? At the beginning of the year, we had very little, maybe less than $100 million in orders for servers that use what we call the accelerated processing unit. At the end of the year, in just four quarter, including supercomputer, that exceeded 3.6 billion. So we went from less than 100 to 3.6 billion. And where we see the pipeline is enormous. But on thermal percentages, now today represent of the total server market, which is always very large, 25% related to AI. But when you look at the specific AI piece of that, which is, you know, these large AI scale systems that need this huge amount of acceleration for mobile training, that's above 80% already. So it's, it's, it's an inflection point and a massive shift that's taking place as we witness every day.